Hey guys, I'm Sammy. Welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's get into this. Okay. We're back at our checkpoint. I think we actually need to go down here. So, let's do it. Okay, what does this say? Um, use the Patrick Teeter Totter to go to the island in Gulagoon Beach. Not ready. Not ready. I actually need to get the spatula down here. I do wonder how to get the other spatula though. Cause like... The other one's just straight up in the air. Okay. Let's get up here and do this. Oh, that was close. It looked like I wasn't gonna do it. That was a little bit loud. Wait, what does this say? Oh, it's just a quick way to get to the pier and everything. What does this show me? Oh, it's a way to get back, I guess. I need to switch. Let's be SpongeBob. So I can go back and forth there. Does that work? Oh, I got him! Surf's up, guys. Signs. Wait, was I supposed to use that? How do I get there? I don't know. Let's use this. Maybe we can talk to some people. Oh, it brings us right back to Larry. Congratulations, okay. SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! Thank you very much, Larry. I always love, you know, a good golden spatula myself. Fresh like a spring breeze. Was I dying? I forget. I think I was dying. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, I usually don't post videos on the weekend because I like to spend time with my friends and family. I'm sure you guys understand. And I just died. Okay. I was so close. I, I'm blind. You would think a sponge could be in water, but I guess not. SpongeBob's built different. Get out of here. I need to go to the taxi. I wonder, like, how much money Spongebob pays to go into these taxis, because that's, that's a lot nowadays. Or are the taxis there free? You never know. If you think about the ocean and, like, the fish kingdom, I would assume it'd be free, because, like, the amount of fish that just go along with people. Fish like to hitch rides on other fish. We're going to... Oh no, what that says. It's hard for me to read it, because it gets like cut off partly. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. 
and eyes of Joey. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. A small square guy. And his challenger, a huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Oh. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. What? What? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. That's no. gotta sting! I feel like a new sponge! Ow! I guess what? SpongeBob won't be Fresh, winning like that a way! Breeze. Ow! That's gotta sting! I feel sting. like a new sponge! Ow. Oh my god, Fresh, I don't know like what to do! Breeze. Bob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Great Barrier Reef! Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay, wait a moment, guys. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Now the robot's taking a beating out there. The robot better change tactics and then. Oh! I wanna play! I wanna play! Epic, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! No! Alright! Bouncing through the head. Spying! Oh. The old clothesline move! Oh my god. The robot's losing its head! How do I- where do I throw it? Up we go! I don't know where to throw the head. At least not yet. Like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, right there. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Good job, Patrick. Get away from me. Sandy. Robot Sandy. The robot's losing its head. There we oh, go. Nice flying uh head thing move by Patrick. Yeah. Come on. Can't believe I just got thrown into a boss fight right now. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Yes, I do. Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! That was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob! Bounce and bash the head. Spilling! The old clothesline move! Oh my god. There's the robot's vulnerability! Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Whoa! What an uppercut! There we go! Whoa! Whoa, that was a little close. No. Oh my god. There's the robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Nice move by oh, SpongeBob. Oh, get away from me. This match is just about over. Oh no. I need to get this. Sweet victory! 
That was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. Ooh. Wait, there's more, a golden spatula. And that's not all, a gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you, it all means so much, I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Wow. Okay. So that means I can technically go back and go bowling at certain areas, couldn't I? That is interesting information. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. <laughs> Real inconspicuous. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? No more thinking. There we go. Let's use that. Careful. Oh, that's cool. We can just see right there. They're this close to this area? That's kind of crazy. Shady Shoals Rest Home. I can visit Sandy? Ooh, I can. Let okay. me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Okay. Remember, though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Oh, look at this. It bounces off of things as well. That's cool. Oh, oh, am I safe in there? I do love a fountain. So. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yeah, That's sure. quality craftsmanship, that is. I got 20 golden spatulas now. Awesome. There's Sand Mountain, which requires 30. Oh my god, guys, look at that. That's crazy. I have a long ways to go. 25 spatulas over here. Ooh, we get to go to rock bottom. Oh my god. I wonder if they have like the candy bar machine. What's this? Ah. Oh. What's this? Oh. A golden Rats, underpants. Wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. I feel like a new sponge. On top of the chum bucket seems to be another golden spatula. And then over here, there's another golden underwear up there. So anyways. Oh, okay. I can't even go over here, that's 40. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to see Sandy, I feel. Can I go in here? The police station. Let's enter the police station. I thought there was a box here though. There we go. Hello, officers. What's this? This is the robot viewer. Step on the middle square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robot. 
fodder, nifty electrical, tough attack, not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabid clams. Okay. Oh, this is all the robots I can unlock, I guess. G-Love has the most vicious smack attack, hands down. Expert food m foot masseuse, lemon squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Chuck, annoying missile attack, likes to throw tantrums and other various military grade or ordnance. Not terribly friendly. Monsoon, shocking electrical attack, rather sensitive, reads poetry, likes plants, and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. Hammer, impressive meat byproduct attack, smarter than it looks, goes well with broccoli and a nice hindi. Tartar, uncanny flying tartar sauce attack, smells somewhere better than stale fish. Chompbot, somewhat unstable critter, beware his stinky doggy breath likes to chew toys, random citizens, and mimes. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking fears, and oh, never mind the last bit. Plankton is the best. Totally. Oh, look at these. We're gonna come across some interesting robots. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. That's cool. Well, I'll be leaving there. And then... Let's go into Shady Shoals Rest Home if we can. Boy, my heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Ooh, we get to go to the Mermelair. Is it pudding night yet? Oh, this is cool. I love opening presents. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy unite. I remember the episode when they became Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy using the suits that they found. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! <laughs> what are you watching, Mermaid Man? Wait, what was this? Enter the Mermelayer. Look at this box. <gasps> no, I just died. I forgot I didn't have that many lives left. They really should, you know, replenish your lives a little bit. Oh 
my god. Okay. There we go, I got all of that. Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old one. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! But well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! His voice is just no. But, uh... We, we talked about this, guys, like... Just, just a little bit ago. Maybe a minute ago. Oh, I already know what finally. I gotta do. It's not just any sponge, it... Don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Just met the Sponginator. Ow! Poles or power generators don't touch them or the energy beam. Wait a moment. Too much. There we go, we got it. Ooh. Um There we go. Excuse me. Fresh like a. Oh, what is this? We just discovered a new robot. This Romna is named Arf. Use the bubble bowl to defeat him. Rama. I love opening presents. Excuse me. There we go. Wow. He's kind of harder to defeat. Can I get this? I need this. Oh, 
almost died there. Look at all these boxes. Um, is there any way to interact with this? I guess maybe not. You can use bubble bowl to turn paddle wheels bowl one side of this paddle to make a turn. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. What? There we go. Okay. The bubble ball can also be used to press buttons. Nice. Cool. Golden spatula. Awesome. I feel like a new sponge. Nice. Okay. Enter the Mermelayer main chamber. Let's do that. The Mermelayer. Secret fortress of the wrinkly oh superheroes God. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelaire computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! I kind of agree with Squidward. It could use a little bit of sprucing up. I need... Patrick. But I guess I'll have to deal with without. Right. Oh my god. Can we like... There we go. What's going on here? I need to swap characters. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Okay. What? Then the last one. 
Come on. Excuse me. And then... Is that it? I think that's maybe it. Hey, I know you! You're that guy! Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Don't be weird, Patrick. Don't be weird. Oh. Oh no, it's one of these puzzle games, isn't it? Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. I guess we did it. Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Thank you very much. I guess I'll just hit that. Ooh, a slide. Oh, goodness. Sparkly no, there's a sock up there. I could try again. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Let's try again, guys. Uh -oh. This one goes boom. Uh, I can't do. It's okay. I need to have SpongeBob's character back. I feel. Yeah, I do. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> Whoa! Who's trying to murder me? Got to bridge. No. Take that. Cha -ching! Whoa there. How do I get up? Fresh like a spring breeze. I don't know how to get up there. So I guess I'll just go back. There we 
we go. I feel like a new sponge. Excuse me. Get out of here. Okay, left wall jump activate. Oh, I gotta activate this. Here, boy. Here, boy. No! That's upsetting. Go, SpongeBob. It's your birthday. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. There we go. Get him out of here. I don't need all that. There we go. Okay. It seems that I will need to slide. Unless there's another place I can go. Oh. Nice, okay. Let's go back. I did it. Now we go this way. Oh my god. There we go. Get out of here. Another golden spatula. Open that box. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Um, there's one more, I guess? Cause I got two of them. Press the master shutdown button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system area. Okay, I think we can end the video here. And that'll be the end, so bye guys!